welcome back to another TechMinds video. So if you saw one of my previous videos on Othernet, where you can download free data using a Dreamcatcher board and an LMB, well you might be interested in what I'm about to show you. So here we have one Dreamcatcher board. Now these boards have a one gigahertz ARM processor, 256 megabytes of RAM, and a whole host of other features, which makes this an interesting device to play around with. So what if you have two Dreamcatcher boards? Well, you can go ahead and play around with an application called Dreamcatcher Chat. Now this application is available on GitHub and allows users to exchange text messages on a specified frequency. Yes, so these Dreamcatcher boards can actually transmit and they can transmit anywhere from between 40 megahertz all the way up to six gigahertz. Now you will need to load a special ambient image for the Dreamcatcher. I'll leave a link down in the description below and we're also going to go through how we install the software and how we get it working. So the little pigtails that we've got coming off here, which you would normally connect your LMB to, we can actually connect an antenna to. So as you can see here, I'm just going to screw on a UHF antenna onto this one and I'm going to do the same on the other one. Now I do have SMA female to uh, F type adapters already installed on here. So you will obviously need two SD cards and you're going to need to image them using Etcher or any other kind of imaging software. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But once you've imaged them, you just simply pop it into the SD card slot, pop one into each. They should have both the same images. And what we're going to need to do is actually connect into these uh, Dreamcatcher boards using a terminal program uh, via the USB cable. I'll show you how that works in a second. So simply plug your USB cable into the USB socket provided there on the board. The other end of that will plug into your computer. You will also need to do the same on the other board and plug it into the same computer. Well, you don't actually have to do it on the same computer. It could be another computer like a laptop or something. Unfortunately, I don't have a laptop available to me at the moment, so I can't do this test uh, with two different computers. So I'm using the same computer. It isn't a problem. Once it's plugged in and powered on, you'll see an available COM port. So once you've downloaded the image uh, from the link below, open up Etcher, uh, select the image file, make sure your SD card is inserted into your computer and then click install. What will happen is now is this will actually image the ambient stretch image onto the SD card. Now you will need to do this for both SD cards. It's probably easier if you just do them both at the same time. So then you can plug both of the Dreamcatcher boards in at the same time and it makes configuring them a lot easier. Okay, so once it's finished imaging, you wanna put the SD card into your Dreamcatcher, plug it in into your computer, the USB cable, Go to Device Manager and take a quick look at the COM ports. What you should see here is the COM port will become available as soon as it's loaded. We just go down and see which COM port this is on. And I can see that this is COM port 8. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an application called Putty. Now this is a freely downloadable program. I'm going to select Serial, select a, COM port 8 and click OK. And you just have to wait a couple of seconds just for it to respond and it will ask you for a login. Now the default login on this will be root. So that's R-O-O-T. And the default password is 1234. Now because it's the first time that we've logged in, it's gonna ask us to enter a new password which will overwrite the root default password of 1234. So put in a password that you want to remember. Now it's going to ask you a couple more things here. It's going to ask for a username. I've just put in Matt. And then it's going to ask me for a new password for this account, Matt. So I'm just going to pop that in twice. Pop in my name. I can skip all this. Now at this point we are actually only connected to the Dreamcatcher board via USB or serial interface and we need to enable the Wi-Fi on the Dreamcatcher board. This is so that we can do an update. So we just pop in that command that I showed there, it'll bring up this little screen, it will scan for your wireless networks, choose the correct network, type in your password and it should connect. Now once it's connected, 
the Dreamcatcher board is now able to do updates. At this point, I would recommend that you do a reboot. You can do that either by typing in sudo space reboot, or you can just simply unplug the power cable. Now, when it reboots up, you can just log in with that new account that you created a moment ago. Okay, so after reboot, I'm just gonna log in with my new account. I'm gonna put in my password, the one that I chose before for my account mat. And we're just gonna to need to run some update commands. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna run sudo apt update. I'm gonna pop in our password because it's we put the word sudo before it. Now don't worry, this may take quite some time to update, but I've just speeded this part up so that you don't have to sit and watch it all kind of go through it. But uh, please just make sure that you wait until this is fully finished updating. Okay, so once that's finished doing the update, we now need to install a couple of libraries. This is quite easy to do. We just type in the following command and hit enter. Now, if you get this error, don't worry, just issue that command again and it will work. Okay, so once those two libraries are installed, what we now need to do is go ahead and download the actual chat application from GitHub using the git clone command as shown here. Once it's downloaded, just simply cd into the Dreamcatcher packet tester folder and we now need to make this application. Just type in make space static and let it do its thing. Okay, so once it's finished compiling, we can now just type in sudo dot forward slash chat and it will start the chat application. As you can see here, it's asking for us to enter a mixer frequency. I'm gonna do 434 megahertz. You have to enter it as hertz. And here you go, that's it. So what you now need to do is do exactly the same as you did with this Dreamcatcher on the other Dreamcatcher board. So in this experiment, I'm running two Dreamcatcher boards plugged into the same computer. But once we start the chat application on both boards, any text that I type in is actually being transferred via RF. What I would ideally like to do is to perform this test with another computer, maybe even a laptop and see what kind of distance I can get away with from each other and still maintain a solid connection for chatting via this app. Now, as mentioned before, I do not currently have a laptop available to me. And if any of you guys fancy gifting me one, I'd really appreciate it. So if you have two Dreamcatcher boards knocking around, why not give this a go yourself? I've tested this on 434 megahertz as shown in this video, and I've also tried it on 1.2 gigahertz and five gigahertz. Obviously it worked pretty well because the distance between my Dreamcatcher boards is probably only around one meter. Now you would still need to have a correctly tuned antenna for whichever frequency you've chosen to transmit and receive on, especially if you want to try and get any decent kind of distance between them. Now I'm not entirely sure the power output on this, now we'll do some research and try and find out exactly how much power we're actually getting out of this particular board when it's in transmit mode. Now this chat app makes me wonder what else is possible, but unfortunately the Dreamcatcher board does not have an audio input. So something that crossed my mind is whether or not the USB socket, which the Wi-Fi dongle is plugged into, could actually be used as an audio interface. Maybe this is something that we can investigate at a later date. So for the last couple of minutes, I've been typing a message in one window and it's been transmitted to the other and then vice versa. You can tell that they're different Dreamcatcher boards because if you look in the top left hand corner, one says COM8 there on the left and the other one is COM9. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.